Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Children of Chicago by Cynthia Paleo. Uh, I read this, well I listened to this book on Scribed. I did read some of it because they have the text version also. If you'd like to check out Scribed, get a free month free and my kids get a free month free also. There's a link down there in the doobly-doo for you to check it out. You can't use it if you've already gotten a free month trial, but if you want to, and they didn't pay me to say this, <laughs> not a sponsor, but uh, if you want to try it out, help out my kids, I appreciate it. They get unlimited books and audiobooks and so do you for a month. Try it. You don't have to keep it. Uh, you can get, you, I think you can cancel as soon as you start the trial so you, you don't have to worry about forgetting to cancel and then you still have the month free, but I could be wrong about that. Make sure you check before you do it. Anyways, so this book is uh, retell not really a retelling, but a repurposing of the Pied Piper mythology. Um, in fact, that was my favorite part of the book. Um, if, for those of you here for the TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch, uh, I absolutely love this book. Uh, it was very creepy. Uh, very The characters were really good, but we'll get into that more. But if you wanted the TLDW, there you have it. I loved it, and I suggest you read it. Um, so the... The plot here is, uh, I, I, I want to say this, but I don't want you thinking that I, I, I think uh, Paleo uh, ripped anybody off. Um, it is, this book is very John Connolly, like the Charlie Parker um, supernatural thrillers. It's uh, police procedural meets supernatural horror, and I absolutely love that aspect of it. Um, there is one thing I want to mention before I get on with the review, and that is a weird phenomena. Maybe it's a phenomena. Um, I try to think the best about people, but there are several there are several reviews on Goodreads that I read once I finished this that talk about how much they didn't like the Wikipedia articles or the Wikipedia article esque aspects of the book. And I didn't notice any Wikipedia or Wikipedia-esque aspects. Um, I don't know if they're talking about how much the author goes into uh, detail about the surroundings or the place that the book is named after. Uh, it's called Children of Chicago. I expected Chicago uh, history and lore and all that. And I, as someone who's never been to Chicago, I found all that stuff fascinating. Um, but anyways, it, it's just, it, it's weird that so many reviewers mentioned Wikipedia and I didn't, say, I didn't get it, even a sense of that throughout the book unless, unless there were Wikipedia articles in there that I didn't catch because I was listening to the audiobook. If there are, I'm sorry, I missed it, um, but I don't remember anything like from Wikipedia, this date or whatever. I didn't notice any of that. Um, and the, the history of the town is no different than like John Connolly going into great detail about the places where he sets his books. So I had no problem with it because I'm a big John Connolly fan. Um, so this uh, this book revolves around a detective named Lauren who's looking into a murder case, and there are... Okay, let, let's go through, I think, the easiest way, because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Um, uh, let's go through my, my, my three things I look for in every, in every book, whether it be horror or anything. Uh, characters, pacing, and dread. Characters, amazing. Um, in fact, the best part of the book, I feel, other than the history and the lore, so I guess second second part, second, my second favorite part, is uh, the main character of Lauren um, and how the book ends. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I, I yeah. Um, another thing I'll say before I get on to the pacing and the dread is uh, there's, uh, with, with, with this book, there's, there's a lot of very, very subtle, subtle, creepy things that I enjoyed, and I don't think that has to do with uh, the, the pacing or the dread. I, even, the, even the dread. We'll talk about that more in a second why I say that. But there are so many, there's one scene in here in particular that happens that uh, I'm going to say it's Mo and it's in a restroom. Uh, it, it stands out as Probably one of the one of the creepiest scenes I, I've come across in a long time. I would put it up there with uh, Marisha Passell's night film and the scene on the bridge in that book. 
Uh, anyways, so let's go on to pacing. Uh, I didn't feel this book lagged whatsoever. In fact, uh, the author's uh, descriptions of the city, uh, all that stuff, so is very, very well written. Um, that's why. That's another reason why I'm sitting here going, why are they mentioning Wikipedia articles? Because uh, there's more places to get, you know, history than Wikipedia. <laughs> Just, but anyways, uh, the authors have been doing this since the beginning of since the beginning of writing. Period, or storytelling. Um, so I don't understand that. But the uh, with, with with the pacing, it really moves along, even during the sections where the author is uh, telling us about this the city, the history of the city, uh, the terrible and good things, the culture, the art, all that stuff, I felt it, that it was engaging. I had a lot of fun reading it. Um, now, I, I did read one article that mentioned that the author might have got something wrong. I can't speak to that. Um, I've never been to Chicago. I don't know anything about Chicago. Um, but in the book, which is a fiction book, uh, I I believed what the author was selling. Um, does that make me gullible, gullible or naive? I don't know, but I'm not going to judge a city based on a fiction book, if that makes sense. Um, but the book blew right along. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I can't think of a single time when I wanted to put it down. Uh, the uh, I think I read it the whole book in three settings, um, sittings or uh, not really sittings because I listen to audiobooks when I walk, and then during my cool down time, uh, either that or when I exercise. Uh, so, but it was a total of three times I listened to it, and I, I never wanted to stop listening to it. I just had other things to do. Um, and then when I couldn't listen to it, I would read the text version, which is very minuscule. I maybe read three, maybe three chapters in the text version. And that was just because I, I like to judge the, the, the text uh, against the, the actual audiobook. And I didn't find any dis discrepancies. Like sometimes you'll find errors in the, uh, in, the, in the text that you can't, of course, hear in the audiobook. I didn't find any of that stuff, but I didn't read the whole, physically read the entire book. I listened to the entire book. Um, next up is the dread. The dread here is off the charts, especially when you realize that this is a supernatural thriller. I asked, before I even read this, I asked uh, people on Twitter, is like, is this book horror or is this just a police procedural? Because the, I feel the description was kind of vague on that. Like it could be one thing, it could be another, which, which I appreciate because I don't normally read descriptions, but I heard it being called a police procedural and I'm not too into that. I like the Charlie Parker series because it's about a private investigator and not, you know, just the the day-to-day -day routine and all the... I, I, I'm not a big fan of, like, CSI and that kind of thing, and I was worried that's what it was. That's why it took me so long to read. Um, I'm happy to say it was it was, it was was nothing like that. It was much more fun than just reading by rote, you know, descriptions of, like, you know, the, the detective stuff. There's a lot of character work here. Um, but the dread keeps mounting and keeps mounting and keeps mounting. It just keeps going, man, until the final end, and I was... that That ending... That bravo, and more than a golf clap. I want to full on applaud it. Um, I I love books that end this way. Um, and again, I will state the scene with Mo in the restroom. One of the scariest scenes I have had the pleasure to read slash listen to whatever. Um, so bravo to the author and her uh, amazing debut. I am. Super excited for anything that she writes from here on out. But have you read Children of Chicago by Cynthia Paleo? If you have, then please let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, you hated it, you felt meh about it. If you felt any of those things, describe how you felt in detail or why you felt those things so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!